Hello, welcome back. Alright, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a little bit of detail to your basic cube. Uh, what we're going to want to do is drag our AO map in to GIMP and uh, if you've got some textures ready downloaded as I already have here, you can go to CG Textures, brilliant site, I love it. Um, the, uh, good quality uh, textures for, for free, you can pay for a premium version but it allows you to have bigger files in, on some of them so definitely worth it if you I mean, I'm not uh, um, promoting them or anything, but yeah, for any um, artists out there, that's the best place to find textures, but what I've found so far. If there's any more, please leave them in the description. Love to find more resources for getting textures. They're very um, viable for um, making um, good 3D models looking even better. Alright, so what we're going to want to do is a little bit bigger from what we got. Well, it's brilliant because it means we can shrink it down, what well, allows us to have a little bit more detail, you know. Um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. What we're going to do is, um, I'll start with this one first. We're going to want to scale it down. So, um, click on this tool up here, just click, and um, I'm not sure if that already ticked or not. I can't tell the difference. Uh, is it? Yeah, okay, that already ticked. When it, oh no, it isn't. Um, set that no tick that click that and what it st does is allows you to drag the corner and it scales it perfectly what really um, wouldn't roughly make it about the same size of a picture but a little bit bigger a little bit bigger not too much uh, so then we can actually just move it around to change the detail a little bit uh, we hide that for now. Do the same to this layer, this here, pretty much just adding a bit more fractures. That one was a bit dirt, a bit of grunge. So do exactly the same here. But with this one, there's a line going straight through the middle. But not so nice. What we're going to want to do with that to make sure it isn't going straight through our textures, let's select if what you want. In my case, I don't because I have a weird line going through the textures and it isn't going to texture very nicely. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to want to undo that. Let me turn the opacity down, get it in the right spot. So it's about there, in the middle of the two textures where I know there isn't going to really be, not really, it feels right above that. So. Hopefully, we can get it to the right size. First time I did it, it worked nicely. Hopefully, it won't be big enough. We want it big enough, so. Can I get that? Alright, a little bit too small. Right. Just keep doing that to you. Get it to the right size and kind of leave it a little bit bigger. So, get in there. Right. Okay, that's pushing it a little bit far, but I think I can get away with that. Right. And what we're going to do, very much do, is click on that little down arrow twice and then do it for your uh, different options we've got here. And I like the looks of that, that looks nice. And turn the next one on. Do the same with this one. Control for them to you find something you like. And I like that one. And uh, what you can do is, if you don't, let's say I don't like this bit up here, this bit there, or something like that, you know, I can do. And then I think I'm not moving the wrong layer. Okay, on the there we go. If you're having problems moving the layers, does change this, op this option here and you're able to just move the one you've got selected to this nice. Just know when um, it, it, it won't be perfectly seamless. Um, you might have things like a line coming up here 
and going over a little bit, but not actually coming that along onto the other side. But generally, people don't notice as long as it. I mean, like you can get away with it a little bit. This, but if you really want to make it perfect, um, then you got <laughs> fiddle with the UVs. And I don't really feel like doing that too much. There's a general do tracking textures on it too. It looks roughly good. And then um, we do save this out as a texture. And that's pretty much it. And um, you just take it into um, your 3D modeling program and see if it looks good. If it don't look good, you come back, you tweak it until you get something you like. And um, just make sure you always save a. Um, yeah. Just make sure you always save a backup of the layers you're actually working on. So, if I'm saving PNG, is I don't believe it's going to save my layers. So it, I would want to save it as the default um, GIMP format. So I can always come back to this and tweak it later. But if you're in a hurry and you're not that bothered, yeah, you don't have to. All right. I hope this um, video was useful. Um, catch you guys later.